Hey everybody, it's Doug Shop with Remax Oceanside at MakeManYourHome.com. Today we're going to talk about the main Italian. It's a sandwich and I'm actually going to try three Italians right here. So let's do this. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. This is going to be a, a very interesting video here. I've never done this. We're going to try three Italians from some local shops here. If you're not familiar with what an Italian is, the main Italian, it's a sandwich originated here in Portland, which I think is awesome. First, I thought I'd tell you a quick story about the first time I had an Italian. I moved here to Maine about 25 years ago, and I came from Buffalo, New York, and, and we, we had great subs growing up, but it was more of like the bread and then like shredded lettuce on it. I'm sure everybody's probably had them if you've been in other parts of the country and all that stuff. It was a drastically different sandwich than the Italian. So when we first moved here, we met some, you know, local people here. And I remember it was a roommate of mine, his girlfriend, who said, hey, you guys have never had an Italian? What's wrong with you? We got to change this. So she ran down to Amato's, got a bunch of sandwiches. We all started eating and we're all like, like all of us from Buffalo are going, well, where's the lettuce? Where's this? Where's that? You know, I got to admit, once you get a taste of like those pickles and the olives and all that kind of stuff, I mean, it just sucks you in. You start craving it. I found some great information about the history of, an, of the Italian sandwich. So the Italian sandwich was invented here in Portland, Maine. The guy who invented it was Giovanni Amato, hence the uh, the Amato's franchise that's all over the place here in Portland. It was back in 1903. He had a little bread cart, you know, street cart. He ended up selling uh, sandwiches or making sandwiches for dock workers, you know, with the bread that he made. Um, he'd throw some cheese and vegetables and all that stuff, just some stuff to get these guys fed. And it became super popular. And he ended up opening up the place called Amato's. And today, it's, you know, there's tons of them all over the place. You can't, you know, you can't go anywhere in Portland without seeing them. What traditionally comes on the sandwich is ham, American cheese, tomatoes, onions, green peppers, sour pickles, which is really what makes gets me all excited, and then the Kalamata olives, and then the oil all over it to make it a little messy, uh, which is why this video is going to get uh, really interesting right now. So the three uh, places that we went to, we went to Amato, so we have a sandwich from there. We went to Ananias, and then uh, there's also a great place over on the East End called ANC. You might be familiar with him. I did a video with him a while back. Um, anyway, let's dive in. I'm going to go for the Amato sandwich first. My Vanna White over here is going to hand me the sandwich. So let's get this unwrapped. Jeez, my mouth is starting to water here already. So one thing I like to do when I order these sandwiches, I didn't make any preferences this time, but normally I will get light oil, especially like if I'm out and about, you know, and I need to be meeting with people because they put some oil on here. Let's go for this. <laughs> oh my God, that's good. That was the Amato sandwich. Let's try Ananias. This is the Ananias. <laughs> Gonna unwrap this puppy. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. So check this one out. So this is Ananias. Anyway, let's give this one a try. <laughs> mm, that's darn good. I gotta get another pickle bite. <laughs> mm. Wow. So that was the Ananias. That's fantastic as well. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move this one along. This one's gonna be from A&C Grocer. Joe Fournier up there, stop in, say hello. He's a great little small shop up there and he does some good work. If you check him out on Instagram, A&C Grocery, I think it's pretty easy to find. I have never had one of these, so this is this is interesting. This is a little different. This is kind of more of, a, I would almost say like a, like a gourmet style Italian. I mean, look at all that meat and cheese on there. Let's give this a try. Mmm. Oh man, that's really good. This one is different than the traditional Italians. Um, like I said, it's more of a gourmet, but it's delicious. Definitely highly recommend. I highly recommend all three of them. Just you should go on an Italian binge. Just drive around Portland and try them all. I'm gonna finish up this video so I can go eat the rest of these sandwiches. <laughs> so we found this place on Instagram. They're called uh, Ham Italian. If you check them out on Instagram, it's at ham underscore Italian. Just want to give them a shout out for helping us out and all that stuff. These are the main Italians, again, from Amato's and Aeneas and ANC Grocery. People probably want to know what my favorite was, but I'm not really going to say that. I'd like to see what you guys do. Where do you guys like to get your Italians? Maybe it's a different place than these three. Comment below. Let me know uh, what's your favorite Italian. Let me know if you've tried all three of these. You know, I'd love to hear your, your feedback and all that. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully I made you a little hungry. Go get something to eat. And remember, if you make man your home, you don't have to do it alone.
you know.